Don't have a weird cousin to talk to your friends about? Well, don't you worry, because our evolution has you covered thanks to genus Paranthropus. This now extinct genus of hominin consisted of three species that we know of, Paranthropus robustus, which is typically found in South Africa, and then Paranthropus aethiopicus and Paranthropus boisei, both of which are found all across Eastern Africa, including in Kenya, Ethiopia, and Malawi. Now, I don't have enough time to cover these species in depth, although I plan to do it at some point on my YouTube channel once I start making long-form content, so here's a few fun facts about genus Paranthropus. One, the members of genus Paranthropus are also known as the robust Australopithecines, and this is partly because some biological anthropologists believe that genus Paranthropus shouldn't exist and all three species should instead be classified as members of genus Australopithecus. So you'll see them being referred to as both Paranthropus and also as the robust Australopithecines. Number two, their teeth are wild. And by that, I mean their molars and premolars are absolutely ginormous, while their incisors and canines are very, very small. They also had this ridiculously thick enamel. Three, this formation on the top of their heads is called a sagittal crest, and its presence indicates that members of genus Paranthropus had massive temporalis muscles, which is one of the muscles involved in chewing. Ours are a lot smaller by comparison, but you can find yours by touching your temple and biting down. Four, their large back teeth and chewing muscles suggest that members of genus Paranthropus mostly ate foods that require a lot of crushing and chewing, like nuts or very fibrous plant material. However, I should add that it's possible those foods were just fallback foods they were adapted to eat for survival purposes, and that genus Paranthropus might have actually been more omnivorous than its dentition suggests. And that's a few fun facts about genus Paranthropus. If you learned something new today, be sure to like, comment, and share, because those are the things that help the algorithm get me out to more people. And if you want to hear more about the echoes of humanity's past, be sure to check out my page.